you know, it just came to me. There's there's one simple word that I think about when I'm trying to stay focused on making sure my day, I'm putting God first in my day, because when we do that, everything else seems to, to go much better. Mm-hmm. And it's the word arise. So arising in the morning, you know, just focus on um, the priorities. So I can step through those with you if you like, kind Please. of each of the uh, the letters there. So the A stands for just um, adding a, a daily mass. doesn't mean you have to go to mass every day, but I find that that extra day of daily mass, of course, I typically go five to six days a week now, and I have no excuse, Annie. There are masses all over Waco <laughs> at all <laughs> times of the day. So even when I worked, you know, there was really no reason I couldn't make a daily mass. So that that's the A in the word arise. And then the R is for reading Scripture, even if it's 10 minutes a day. And, you know, today you can listen to Scripture while you're driving to the office and you're going to pick up your kids from soccer practice or whatever it might be. It's so easy to do now, whether you just go to, um, gosh, Ascension and and listen to the Bible in a year or even go to YouTube, right, and just put on the Gospel of John. It's it's really it's really so easy. There's there's no reason we shouldn't be studying scripture at least ten minutes a day. Yep. And the I is for inviting the Holy Spirit into every decision. And I never used to think about that. So just you know, invoking and inviting the Holy Spirit into every decision. And then the S is for spiritual direction. And I know that um, every community has spiritual directors, and it doesn't mean that you have to meet with them weekly, right? Even yeah. if you meet with somebody quarterly or biannually, I find that to be very helpful and. And you can do that in conjunction with a retreat. We've, we've talked many times about the importance of getting away on a retreat. In fact, as, as I think about retreats that I've been on, they're really the best vacations <laughs> that I've taken. <laughs> well, we spent That's where you actually time. get the rest, huh? It's, well, it's amazing, and it's yeah. peaceful. So, you know, we spend so much time getting ready for vacations, and then we're exhausted when we get back from vacation. You know, a lot of the, the, the typical vacations we take. Um, but retreats are just a beautiful way to get closer to Christ, and um, and that's something that we can plan ahead, right? So as you, as, as you would a vacation, plan ahead to be part of a retreat. And it doesn't have to be a retreat that's uh, a plane, plane right away. It can be a retreat in your backyard. And then the E stands for Eucharistic Adoration. Uh, I'm so impressed. My parish has also uh, got a school, and it's so beautiful to see these mothers, either before they drop their kids off at school, they come by. Um, for adoration, five minutes. I mean, they just drop in, they get on their knees, <laughs> they pray, mm-hmm. and they leave. Or after they drop the kids off, the moms come back, and they, you know, they, they may only sit in the pew for five or ten minutes, but they're making an effort to to get quiet with Christ, and that's just a beautiful way to start your day. So that's the word I've come up with. Just arise, spend every day arising and thinking about those things you can do to get in greater communion with our Lord. Arise, everyone. Attend daily Mass, read Scripture 10 minutes a day, invite the Holy Spirit into every decision, get spiritual direction, and Eucharistic adoration. Hi, this is Anna Mitchell from the Sunrise Morning Show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can share more special content with you. And connect with us as well at sunrisemorningshow.com. That's S-O-N, risemorningshow.com.